Number eight on the list of the 10 skills for managers who want to lead their teams out of drama is to speak unarguably and to create clear agreements with your team. What do I mean by speaking unarguably? Unarguably means I am only speaking facts. I'm speaking things that are objective and unarguable. And that includes a few different categories of things that I might speak about. One of the most common is observations. So I saw this happen and I heard this. I heard that this happened, it could be. But the other categories are often internal. This includes your body sensations. So like I feel tight in my shoulders. It includes your emotions such as I'm feeling a lot of desire right now to move forward. It also includes thoughts. So my thoughts are any thought I have, like I have an idea, I have a question, I had the thought, I noticed I had a judgment, I noticed I wondered something. Now, we talk about our thoughts all the time, right? But the problem is, is we're not unarguable because we're not labeling them as thoughts. When we fail to do so, we, and we begin to buy into the idea that our stories are right. And woo, then we go down below the line and we're in drama and we invite others to be in drama too. People might buy into your stories or they might go against your stories. Either way, there's drama because you're dealing in a land of fantasy, a land of stories. So speaking unarguably means I'm really going to stay grounded in my speech, in what is objectively true, and I'm going to lead from there. Now, this is a game changer. If you are approaching feedback that feels challenging, a confrontation, any negotiation, this is a game changer in mediating, in coaching. It is one of the easiest ways to resolve any argument is to speak unarguably. The other person doesn't even need to know what that means or what to do. But if you ask questions, inviting them to speak unarguably and speaking in the language of facts, not stories, then they too are going to be able to see more clearly what is our opportunity here to create something together and what are we responsible for. And there, you have just led your team out of drama. So speaking unarguably, language of facts it might be observations, things I saw, things I heard, things I felt. And a lot of this is internal, right? I had a body sensation. I had an emotion. I had a thought. As long as we're being clean and we're labeling everything, you're good to go.